Hello everyone, this presentation is done by Professor Shalinder Singh from Dr. D.Y. Patil Institute of Hotel Management Catering Technology Pune. In today's session we will be learning interdepartmental relationship between various operational department in coordination with food and beverage service. Now in this slide we will be talk about various department and their sub-department. First and higher designation of the hotel is general manager to whom all department heads reports to him. After that there is executive assistant manager or hotel manager. Then food and beverage. Room division. Personnel also called, human resource. Accounts. Sales and marketing. Engineering. Purchasing. There are also sub-departments in the hotel which comes under various operational heads of the department for example food production, restaurants, bars, banquet and catering, room service all these departments come under the food and beverage service department. Then reservation and convention service comes under the sales and marketing department. And also housekeeping, front office, security, laundry, operator comes under room division department. This is all about organization structure of any large or five-star hotel. Next we will discuss about organizational structure for individual restaurant or a restaurant brigade. First and the most designation which leads or manage by is restaurant manager then. Head waiter also called in French, maître d'hôtel. Next, head wine waiter. Section head waiter in French is called maître d'hôtel de carré. Reception head waiter also termed as hostess. Buffet chef. Wine waiter also called in French sommelier. Station waiter also called in French chef de range. Apprentices. Assistant station waiter also called in French demi chef de range. Waiter in French called commis de range. Apprentices. All of the above are different roles which works in any operational restaurants. Moving on to next slide we will cover attitude or attributes of food and beverage service personnel which is very much important to each one of the staff while working. Now what is attitude? Attitude refers to a set of emotions, beliefs, and behaviors toward a particular object, person, thing, or event. Following are the attitude of food and beverage personnel. 1. Professional and appearance. Person should always be professional and presentable at the work. 2. Knowledge of food and drink. The staff should have complete knowledge of menu and department to work confidently. 3. Punctuality. Staff should always report to work on given time or before 15 minutes to the time. 4. Personality. Staff should be tactful, courteous, pleasing and well-spoken manner. 5. Attitude to customer. Correct reach to the customer is the utmost important. 6. Memory. Helps in knowing the likes and dislike of the repeat customer, where they like to sit and their favorites food and drinks which define the reference of customer. 7. Honesty. It is all important to the staff in dealings with both the customer and management. 8. Loyalty. Staff's obligations and loyalty are firstly to the establishment in which they are employed and its management. 9. Conduct. Staff's conduct should be impeccable at all times, especially in front of customers and management. 10. Sense of urgency. Staff must develop sense of urgency to contribute high and net profit to the establishment. 11. Customer satisfaction. It is of great importance to anticipate customers' needs. 12. Complaints. Staff should never argue with the customer and, if the situation is out of control it should be referred to the senior member of the team. 13. Contribution to the team. There should always be a positive contribution towards the team and the establishment. Above is all the attitude which everyone has to carry with any of the profession the key of life success. Moving forward we will be covering the basic etiquettes of food and beverage service personnel. The basic etiquettes that a server should exhibit in a restaurant are 1. Attend to guest as soon as they enter the restaurant. Two. Wish the guest according to the time of the day. 3. Be polite to the guest. 4. Assist the guest in removing the coats, jackets and placing again while leaving. 5. Help to seat the ladies first. 6. Provide extra cushions or special chairs for children. 7. Do not interrupt a guest conversation when speaking to them. 8. 
Do not overhear conversation. 9. Avoid mannerisms. 10. Stand erect all the time. 11. Talk softly. 12. Do not run and panic. 13. Be attentive to the guest calls. 14. Avoid arguing to the staff or guest. 15. Do not chew gums while service. 16. Avoid soliciting for tips. 17. Remove tips after guest has left. 18. Enter and leave the restaurant through the service store only. It is very much important to follow strictly above points while working in restaurants or establishment. Now we will be talking about interdepartmental relationship with various operational department. Following are the departments with whom food and beverage service coordinate. 1. Food production. 2. Housekeeping. 3. Front office. 4. Stores. 5. Personnel or human resource. 6. Finance. 7. Marketing. First we will talk about food production and housekeeping. With food production, food and beverage department coordinate in various ways as below. Menu planning. Events. Functions. Different section of kitchen. Still room. Guard manger. Bakery. Banquet kitchen. The next is housekeeping. General upkeep of F&B outlets. Periodic cleaning. Takes care of occasional spillages. Assist in laundering. Staff uniform. Department linen. Flower arrangement. Moving forward we will be covering next three department of front office, store, personnel department. First we will cover front office. Takes restaurant table reservation. Helps in cross department promotion. Guest details. Payments. Guest bills. In-house reports. Next stores or purchase department. To requisite food and beverage from store. It procures and issues proprietary. Purchase indents. Last is personnel department. Employee record. Leave record. Disciplinary action. Recruitment. Employee training. Employee locker. Employee meal. Now the last two department from which food and beverage department coordinates are finance and marketing. First is finance, cashiering, billing, employee salary, control kitchen order ticket, continuous check on cash movements, scheduled audit for cash and other transaction, vendor payments. In the last is marketing, coordinate for various promotional activity, food promotion, market strategies. Menu card designing. Event calendar. So these are the different coordination FNB does with all the department to run the smooth operation within the hotel.